And welcome to sunny Malibu, California for another edition of West Coast Conference Basketball. Today it is the PCH Cup rivalry game between the visiting Loyola Marymount Lions 5 and 14 and the host Pepperdine Wave 6 and 12. And inside Firestone Fieldhouse there in Preston with you. Thanks for joining us on the WCC Network. Well, both teams coming off home losses to BYU and San Diego. Both the Lions and the Waves were very competitive against the Cougars to start the game in the first quarter. In fact, you'll take a first quarter like that any day. But uh, BYU eventually took over and ran Pepperdine's losing streak to seven straight, and the Lions have lost four straight of their own. But throw all that out, this is a rivalry game. Let's take a look at today's players to watch. For the Waves, Jane Waba, got to throw some bodies around down low. Very physical player, and the Waves surely need that today. Got to keep her out of foul trouble. Did a good job with that against BYU. Just had that one foul coming off a career high tying 15 points in that contest averaging now double digits on the year with uh, 10 points a game Jane Waba the 5'10 forward out of uh, the Palisades her counterpart a very good player up front as well Alexis Mark she wears number 35 junior post player six feet tall former all-conference honoree in the Mountain West Conference at Boise State transferred in this is her second year with LMU uh, a career high tying game of her own rights against BYU as well on the other end of the floor uh, five steals and now she has gone for 10 double doubles on the year out of her 17 ball games also Jane Wobbin now working on her fourth consecutive double digit game uh, as well Erica Hughes head coach for LMU in her second season Brian Rosario continues to be the acting head coach for Pepperdine waves and Lions throw out the records in this rivalry game from Malibu starting lineup on the other side on the WCC Network. Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner of the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com.
Well, welcome back to Firestone Fieldhouse. Hope everyone's having a great weekend. The only game on tap this week. It is a big one. It is the rivalry showdown. PCH Cup rivalry game between the Pepperdine Waves and the LMU Lions. Darren Preston with you. The Waves 6-12 looking to get off the seven-game losing streak. LMU on a little losing streak of their own. They have dropped three in a row and just one up now on the waves at the bottom of the conference. LMU two and six in WCC play, five and 14 overall. The waves looking to complete the first round of the WCC schedule on a high note. This will be the first of two regular season meetings between these two rivals. The waves will send out the backcourt of Helena Friend and Marley Walls, Jane Waba in the post with Maylee Yamosa and Becky Obima. Brian Rosario, of course, the acting head coach for the Waves. Six games in a row now. Erica Hughes, the head coach in her second year for LMU. The Waves get the opening tip. Marley Walls goes to her left. Get your LMU's lineup here in just a moment. Three-point arc, Helena Friend. Both these teams coming off home losses to BYU and San Diego. Both teams played wonderful first quarters against the Cougars. Just didn't hold up. Amosa deep in the shot clock. Kick it out. Helena Friend with two. Has her shot blocked by Nicole Rodriguez. Rodriguez, a shooting guard. That's what she is known for, number one out there. She's made 32 threes and 84 tries this year, 38%. Backcourt of Cassie Gordon and Rodriguez. Destiny Samuel, Amaya Oliver up front, Alexis Mark also in the post who we highlighted in our pregame show, former all-freshman honoree in the Mountain West Conference at Boise State. Five on the shot clock, one minute in. LMU's first trip, Gordon get it to Mark in the corner and she fires a three in the corner with a shot clock expiring and the Lions have struck first. Elena Friends got it, Elena's family in attendance from Orange County here this afternoon. See Hannah over there, her older sister, who's a remarkable grad student player here a few years back as the Waves tie it up at three. Each team with an early three in this one. Marley Walls not known for that triple, but gets an early one here. Walls trying to take it away, but they get the traveling violation first on Oliver. It'll go back to the Waves. As for Marley Walls, that is her ninth three-pointer in 27 tries this year, averaging 11.2. Game one of four Waves in double-digit scoring. Waves are again without Allie Stedman, a leading scorer today. Stedman, straightaway three, excuse me, uh, friend straightaway three. That is no good off the front of the rim. LMU comes up with it, one and done for the Waves. Back the other way, Alexis Mark up with it, no good. Good defense getting back, Elena Friend, and LMU numbers on defense. Walls change direction, drop it off for Waba. Trying to get baseline, and that is out of control. Offensive foul, and that's, that was one of our keys, right, to this game. As we mentioned at the top of this broadcast, she has got to stay out of foul trouble. Got a wonderful presence, uh, Waba does, on the court, but just an unnecessary out of control offensive foul on that baseline in the first two and a half minutes today. Destiny Samuel, left baseline shot, runner in and out, no good, missed by Gordon. Samuel, by the way, in her second start of the year, a hell ball situation. And a substitution for the Lions coming on in will be Aspen Adams, 5'8 senior guard out of Culver, Washington, as well as Kari Clark, a post player, 6'2 senior from Denver, Colorado. This is a veteran LMU squad, and they are now uh, second game in a row without their leading score. Ariel Johnson, averaging 13 and a half a game, did not play in their last game loss against uh, San Diego. Right side Rodriguez for a three, very dangerous. She gets one here. Rodriguez, her 33rd triple of the year in 85 tries. It is 6-3 LMU. Everything has been a three-pointer so far here in the first three minutes. Meili Iamosa. Dump it in to Obima, high up the end of it to go. Becky Obima gets it in there, it is six to five. 
Mentioned Erica Hughes, head coach in her second year. An assistant for LMU is Tamara McDonald. If that name sounds familiar, it should. The 2003 West Coast Conference Player of the Year for the Pepperdine Waves. So homecoming of sorts for her. Got a nice greeting before the tip-off today. They introduced her. Rodriguez, deep in the shot clock, 360. Good defense by Walls. They're not going to get it off. That's a shot clock violation. It worked the first time. It does not work the second time. Mark hit that triple to start off the scoring today. With the shot clock expiring, not able to get this one off. And the Waves will get another trip down. Down by one, 6-10 here in the first quarter. Both teams looking to snap losing streaks and get out of the cellar. Right side, Jane Weba. Kick it out, three-point country, and that is good for Marley Walls. Wow. Marley Walls, two for two from downtown to start this game. Ten three of the year. Up top, Lions, Cassie Gordon. They change, they switch it up on her. Waba now defending, left side it goes to Mark. Up top, a long two, that is short. Missed by Kari Clark. Marley Walls in the front court, waves by a bucket, five and a half to go, first quarter. Everybody playing today in the conference. I'll give you the rundown in a moment. Kick it out, Jane Waba. Thought about the three. Helena Friend for three. It's a swish. <laughs> Helena Friend, who had her career high tying game the last time out against BYU, she had 12. Nails a three here, and the Waves have nailed three three pointers in the first five minutes today. Kari Clark. Last six for Pepperdine. Triple is missed badly. Obima comes up with it. Front court. Three on two, kick it back out to Helena Friend. Up top, Molly Walls, who will drop back and reset. Jane Waba to Becky Obima, one bounce over Clark, no good, too strong. Gets her own rebound, kick it out, Friend, a great look for three. No, that is short. Ball scatters all the way out to Alexis Mark. Nicole Rodriguez. Baseline, no good, too strong. Strong side rebound, Jane Waba. She'll run it up for the Waves. Gonzaga's at St. Mary's today. Santa Clara is at BYU. San Francisco at San Diego. And Portland at Pacific. All day games. Waba inside, excuse me, Obima inside the block. Kick it out to Marley Walls. Defended by Alexis Mark. Left baseline it goes. Under 10 to shoot. Ball will be... Sends out of bounds, last touch by LMU, and that brings us to our first stoppage. Timeout, Waves with the last six, they lead it by five, first quarter in this PCH Cup rivalry game on the WCC Network.
Number nine, 11, LMU six, 402 first quarter. The waves with the last eight going back three minutes and 12 seconds. And look who's on the floor. Number zero for Pepperdine, Teresa Grace Abanifo, 6'1", grad student, forward out of Otsego, Minnesota by way of Cornell. So welcome back, and Banifo, the number two score on the Waves. With uh, 13 and a half a game. Also six boards a game. Had 14 straight starts. And Drea Brunfield off the bench, nails a triple. Wow, four three-pointers in the first six-plus minutes for Pepperdine. The hot shooting, and the Waves are up 14-6. to six. This is an 11-0 run. Great to see Mbanifo out there, also on the court. Now K.K. Brody gets a block shot, however, a whistle with Oliver going up. And that'll be her first, team's second, and the first free throws of the game for either side right now with Oliver going to the line. Twenty-four for thirty-nine on the season, sixty-two percent gets the first one to go, snapping an eleven nothing Pepperdine run. Going back three minutes and thirty-seven seconds. In and out and stays out. Rebound Marley Walls. Fourteen seven waves. Great to have Mbanifo on the court. Down low for Pepperdine. Nice game to come back and try to get a very important win against your rivals. Walls a three-pointer. Down it and one. Wow. What an opening period shooting the rock for Pepperdine. Marley Walls has nailed three threes in this first quarter. And she's looking for a four-point play and go into double digits, not even seven minutes into the game. That is the first foul for LMU in this game. Marley Walls, very good free throw shooter to the line, completes the four-point play, and the Waves are on top, 18 to seven. Once down, six to three, a run of 15 to one. That goes back a little more than three and a half minutes. Down low, ball is missed, the layup is missed, uncontested. Uncontested layup, missed by Oliver. And Mbanifo had it there for a moment, ball poked away, Oliver getting back on defense. Bullet pass, right baseline underneath, and a basket. LMU finally, first time in about four and a half minutes to get a basket. It is 18 to nine. Marley Walls in the front court. What a first quarter this has been so far for Pepperdine. Of course, it takes four quarters. We saw a glimpse of this in the BYU game, although not quite as extreme. They played a very solid first quarter that way, too. Waves lose it out of bounds. It'll go back to the Lions. Pepperdine women's basketball would like to extend its thanks to Nike, the official outfitter of the team. And on the internet, the home of the Waves can be found at PepperdineWaves.com. News, schedule, score, stats, and more can be found on the official athletic website. Dribbling the ball up the court, Sequoia Almond at the point position. Out of bounds. Ball was on the baseline, and it'll go back to Pepperdine. Koya Allman for them, 5'5", sophomore guard out of South Memphis, Tennessee. Number three, and she's defending right now on Marley Walls. Under two minutes, first quarter, the Waves playing one of their best first quarters of the year. Marley Walls, Jane Waba, Waba it into KK Brody, one bounce, kick it out, Teresa Grayson Danifo, welcome back, has the ball poked away and stolen. Oliver get it to Allman, bullet pass in the middle of the key. Alexis Mark off the window. Mark's got seven in the first quarter out of LMU's 11. Talked about her in the pregame. Underneath, and Banifo misses a layup. Too strong. Back the other way. Mark, left side. Crossover. Gordon leaning in. No good short. Ball taken away by Brody. Here come the waves. Nice pass to Mbanifo, to the hole. Teresa Grace Mbanifo 
with the basket, a great hat with the bucket, a great half court pass by Walls. Up and down we go in this first quarter. Gordon has it. Rodriguez for three. No, off the side of the rim, and Jane Waba forces a one and done. Another half court pass to Impanico. Wow, that connection is back. Boy, and Banifo runs the court so well, and Walls can just put it on a dime to her, all the way down the floor. Obima, Friend, and Amosa in when it's dead. 31 seconds to go, 22 to 11. Three-pointer, no good, missed by the Lions. Gordon off the mark, and Molly Walls and the Waves should play for one shot here and should take a double-digit lead into the second quarter. Marley Walls, a remarkable first quarter with 10. She's made all three of her shots, all from distance. Waba with eight. Brunfield for three, no. Looked pretty good off of her hand, didn't hit anything with two. Gordon, a runner at the buzzer, no good. And that ends a remarkable first 10 minutes for Pepperdine. Once down six to three, but will take a 22 to 11 lead into the second quarter today as we see one of several great connections between Walls and Ibanifo. Welcome back. This is the WCC Network. Nailed five three-pointers and ten tries in the first quarter. Eight for 15 overall, 53%. LMU down to 26.7%, four of 15. And already ten for Walls, basically, at her season average. Helena Friend, rip it left. Marley Walls. Amosa in to start the second quarter. Walls get it to Amosa inside the free throw line. She goes in the lane. 360 move. Throw it up. And in. Off the window, 24 to 11. The Waves up their biggest lead to 13. Boy, coming out with authority today is this Pepperdine team. We talked a lot about it. Top of the broadcast, you'll hear a little bit more about it at halftime as Alexis Mark looks to go into double digits already if she completes the N1 here. But all these losses within this losing streak, the Waves have been very, very competitive, have not gotten blown out. Basically, all the games have been decided, you know, high single digits, low double digits, around nine or 10 points. And just one mistake here, an inch there, an inch here, you know, that's what these games have been coming down to. And it just hasn't worked out on the scoreboard. So far today, going well for Pep, up 10. Walls, a runner, no good, but two more free throws coming up. And looking to surpass her season average. 11 minutes into this contest right here on the free throw line. 
Fans, make sure you follow Waves Hoops on Twitter, Pepperdine WBB on Instagram, and Pepperdine Women's Basketball on Facebook for all the latest news and information on the team. Jane Waba back on the floor. Coming off her career high tying game of 15 points, along with five boards in the BYU game, a game in which the Waves were so solid in that opening quarter. Just couldn't sustain it. Of course, the Cougars, a remarkable team. BYU are sitting in third place, two back of Gonzaga coming into today. Portland, the second place team, one back. Kari Clark hands it off. Gordon, about a 14-footer, gets it to rattle in. And Gordon is coming up a little gimpy. Lost her footing. Keep an eye on her. Going to the left, Marley Walls. Amosa handed off to Helena Friend. Friend's got one of the five threes so far for Pep. Jane Waba, three-point country. Waba to Obima on the left angle with seven. Friend, driving. Friend, runner, no, but fouled. Helena Friend will shoot two. And for the first time, LMU will bring in Noel Yancey, 5'10", junior guard out of Dallas, Texas, by way of Trinity Valley College. Yancey's been playing about 13 minutes a game for the Lions. Free throw for Helena Friend is in there. Friend coming off the career high tying 12 point game. She's got four early ones in this one. Friend, a 75% foul shooter, almost got the second. Rolls off the front of the rim, weighs by 11. 8-10, second quarter. Talk with Coach Bryan at halftime again today. Always has some very, uh, very remarkable words for us. And gives us all a reason to keep our heads up. And, Remember, there's a second half of the conference schedule still to be played, and there is a lot of time to still turn this thing around. And got uh, Teresa back. You're going to get Ali Stedman back, maybe a game or two down the road. Jane Waba just out of the key, no good. Friend rebound, a whistle. And that'll be a foul on Yancey, who just checked in. Two on her, and all of a sudden the Lions are out of fouls with 7.44 to go in the second quarter. And this is important. We've talked about this so much. Getting teams in foul trouble early in quarters. Wave's biggest lead was uh, 13. See if Friend can make it a 12-point game. She does, 28 to 16, 7.44 to go before halftime. Alexis Mark, former All-Mountain West freshman at Boise State. And Gordon hits that mid-range shot to bring it to 10. Gordon's got six. Marley Walls in the front court. Goes to her left, Gordon with the defense. And the ball will be intercepted. Very bad pass. LMU back the other way. Gordon, dump it in. Clark, reverse layup, too strong. Loose ball, out of bounds. Last touch, who? Michael Price underneath the hoop asking for help. And last touch by Pepperdine. It'll stay to our left. So the Waves now are out of basket. Two and a half minutes. LMU 7 of 19 from the floor, 37%. Waves are still more than 50%, 9 of 17, 53%. Turned it over five times so far. Gordon drop it off. Oliver kick it out. Rodriguez for three. That is no good. And Jane Waba comes up with it. Find the clearance. Outlet, Marley Walls. Jane Waba, baseline Amosa, trying to get around Oliver, reverse no good, Waba up with it and one. Jane Waba, 
She's got four, along with four rebounds. Kari Clark picks up her second, and for the first time, Rosemary Odabumi on the court. Back in for LMU, Sequoia Almond. Point guard for the Lions, Jane Waba looking for the and one to match the Waves' biggest lead of the day. Free throw for Waba, too strong, rebound Gordon. Waves have been doing a really remarkable job at the free throw line in recent games. So far today, five for seven. I'd like to see them get there more. Ball poked away, it'll stay with the Lions with 12 to shoot, 6.14 to go before halftime, and the Waves up a dozen. And we will have a timeout here. Timeout called by LMU, and we'll step aside with the Waves up 12 on the WCC Network. Pepperdine 30, LMU 18. Second quarter, 6.14 to go in it. Pepperdine men's basketball at Portland today. Pepperdine men's volleyball in Austin, Texas, taking on Lewis. Tough five set, bat of, or uh, top five battle yesterday for them. Losing to number four, Penn State, in four. Allman out of the timeout with three. Rodriguez with the shot clock expiring. I think it would have counted. The ball goes off the front of the rim and a rebound for Odubumi. Waves are shooting 53% still in this game, 10 of 19. LMU's 33%, 7 of 21. Marley Walls already with 12 points. Gets it to Odubumi, look into Obima, kick it out into the corner to Waba. With nine, dump it in at the block. Obima split two defenders, put it up no, gets her own rebound. Friend, a great look for three, it is short. Underneath to clean it up, Jane Waba puts it home. 32 to 18, this is the biggest lead of the day for Pepperdine. Once down, six to three early. Have not looked back since. Almost half of the second quarter gone. Here is Allman driving, trying to get around Fren. Blocked by Fren, although too much body there. That's two on Friend, two on the Waves. And let's see, Marley Walls is gonna sit, and coming on in will be Haley Hoff, the freshman from Sam Bruno, her dad in attendance, uh, drove down today for this game from the Bay Area, had a chance to catch up with him. 
Free throw here is good by Almond. That snaps a 229 to route for the Lions. 32 to 19 it stays on the in and out free throw miss. Obima with the rebound. Waba front court. Centers the basketball now. One arm pass out to Helena Friend who stays in the game with two fouls. Driving has it pickpocketed by Alexis Mark. Coming off her career game defensively. Mark all the way lays it up and in. Wow, Alexis Mark, 12 points, five of six from the floor. That was her first steal of the game. Coming off the career high of five against BYU. Odabumi. In for LMU is Aspen Adams defending there up top. Second effort, no, from Wada, but free throws coming up. First on Holman, A.K. Brody, Meili Yamosa in. Otobumi and Obima out. And Jane Waba will look for her fifth and sixth points. Waba's got six rebounds as well. Elena Friend also coming out, so sitting with the two fouls. 4.18 to go, and Jane Waba will shoot two. 64% at the line, gets that one to go. She's got five, and the Waves are six for nine at the line. Second one is good. Waves back up 13. Sequoia Almond for LMU. Drop it off for Mark, having a monster first half. Cut off baseline by Brody. Under four to play, crossover. Almond kick it out, left corner, and that is going to be airmail. Too much for Alexis Mark. LMU will turn it over for the fifth time, one less than Pepperdine. The waves up big in the second quarter. Amosa, Hoff, Waba, Walls with it now. Brody out there for Pepperdine. Sequoia Almond putting on some backcourt pressure. Walls clears it. And a foul right in front of the Lion bench. That is one on Almond. And the Waves, or excuse me, the Lions, who had four fouls with about two and a half elapsed in this quarter. Over the limit. So this is an automatic two-shot foul for Marley Walls in and out there. The Waves will start the second round of their conference schedule next weekend at Portland and Gonzaga. Top two teams in the conference. They'll be home four times, the Waves will in the second round and on the road five times. Brody with the block, but too much contact. Says that official at the baseline. Brody's got two. Waves matching their biggest lead here of 14. As Allman makes the first one. LMU now four to six today at the line. Lions a 76% foul shooting team, very good. The problem is they're not a very good scoring team overall at 57 points per game. Right now LMU sitting at 22 with three and a half to go in the half. So Pep, in that regard, has them at least where they want them at this point of the ballgame. Haley Hoff for three, that's off the mark. Alexis Mark in the front court. Get it to Sequoia Almond. Pepperdine getting 64 and a half a game, and they're right. Actually, they have uh, passed their pace right now. 35 with still three minutes to go. LMU misses one underneath. Molly Walls, front court. Walls driving, Walls, runner, good. A little running floater 
gets through everybody. Marley Walls puts Pepperdine up by a game high 15 with 2.45 to go in the first half. All right, so far you talk about a breakout basketball game for the Waves, but it's worth reiterating there are two halves to a basketball game. Long two by Mark, or excuse me, by uh, Almond is well short and a whistle underneath. I don't think Amosa was able to corral it. It'll stay with the Lions. Trio of subs back in for LMU. Oliver along with Noel Yancey. And Destiny Samuel, who made her second start of the year, is also back in, a fifth year player from Queens, New York. Samuel goes out to her right to Adams. Oliver with it. Got almost a full shot clock here. Felony you wants it. Noel Yancey go to her right, put it on the deck a few times, and a foul will be called. Those are the types of fouls you gotta try to avoid. And 25 plus feet from the hoop which they were going nowhere. But uh, foul was picked up by Marley Walls, her first. And now four in the quarter. Give and go from Adams to Mark underneath. Blocked by KK Brody, but then throws it away. And out of bounds, last touch by who? It'll stay with the Lions. That goes in the category of rushing things. You make the nice play on defense. Look for your open person. Don't just throw it to nobody in particular. 37-22, 1.56 to go. There's going to be a discussion here about something. Officiating crew. Maybe related to the clock. Yeah, so reset it to 17. That's because the ball did not immediately go out. And LMU got it back. Right side, uh, uh, thinking about the three there was Samuel. Again, it's Oliver, that is a traveling violation. It's Ray of Runfield and A.K. Brody get a stop underneath, 1.51 to go. Another great defensive uh, trip down for Pepperdine. Straight up, that's Dre of Runfield. Brody came over, but that was all Dre there. 37-22. Wally Walls, front court. Brody's got it just outside the block, defended by Alexis Mark. Waba to Waba, that's a foul. Couldn't hold her momentum there. Destiny Samuel picks up her second. Lions have been long since over the limit, and it sends Jane Waba back to the foul line, looking for her seventh and eighth points. Been a great first quarter for her as well, with the seven rebounds, two assists as well. Free throw is good. And maybe the best thing you like for uh, Jane Waba, very similar similar to the BYU game, just one foul at this point. She's been out there 17 minutes. Splits the two. The Waves have their biggest lead of 16. Under 90 seconds, first half. Aspen Adams driving, underhanded roll, too strong. Rebound, Jane Waba. Outlet to Marley Walls. Walls center the basketball, puts on the brakes, get it in low, or mid post I should say, should say. turn around, and there's the mid range game of KK Brody that we've been so impressed with. Under a minute, the Waves up their lead to 18. Alexis Mark. Popping out, Maya Oliver driving underneath. One bound scribble, lay it up, miss it. The Samuel whistle underneath, and the Lions will be shooting two free throws with 40 seconds to go. So Walls picks up her second.
Free throws here for Amaya Oliver is good. Two for three is Oliver today at the line, and the Lions are five for eight as a team. Lions, again, at least in this first half, struggling to put the ball in the basket. Just one for their last nine from the floor. No baskets in the last four plus minutes, and shooting just 29% for the game. Right angle, Lamosa. Behind her it goes. Marley Walls at the arc. You got about a 10 second difference. Game clock, shot clock. Waba for three. Looked good. Almost went. Did not. Mark with the rebound. Runs it up. Kick it out. Three point country. And with 13 seconds to go, missed underneath Mark. That one is missed. Walls comes up with it with eight. A couple of bodies down in the backcourt. Right side. Brumfield with four. Fires a three. She's got it. As the first half expires, and a first half for the ages for the Pepperdine Ways with a 20-point lead going into the locker room. 43-23, the Waves shoot unofficially 50% in the first half, making six three-pointers. And we'll talk with Brian Rosario at the break. Waves by 20 on the WCC Network. I'm trying to change the game. I'm born and raised in LA. In so many different cultures, everyone has a word for kind of the cool uncle. You know, I'm everybody's uncle and I'm gonna treat you like family at my firm. Insurance companies, defense counsel, all these guys, they don't care about you. They wanna get out of having to pay you a dollar. I'm here for the people. You don't wanna ever go into a fight where the other side has a lawyer and you don't. All I wanna do is be the LA lawyer go to and I'm here for everybody. Well, Coach, uh, the Waves get... Time here at Firestone Fieldhouse, Loyola Marymount visiting Pepperdine. Brian Rosario joining us on the air. Coach, uh, thanks again. Um, these losses, the, the theme is they're, they're, very, they're all very competitive games, right. um, single-digit games in most cases. I, I'm just curious, what is the, uh, first of all, the, the points of emphasis this week in practice as you get ready for this rivalry game, and um, what is the difference uh, in terms of trying to get over the hump now? What's the next step for the program? Yeah, well, I mean, the theme is growth still. Uh, with some players on the bench that we expected to be in the lineup, mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's tough. But we have an opportunity to allow our young players to grow. So everything we do is centered around two things. One, getting them better individually, which is not so much skill-based but confidence-based. And then the second thing is to build identity, continue building identity as it relates to the team. And that's what our focus has been from day one. 
our players want to win. We want to win, um, but we are also have an eye on February. Um, if we can get healthy, if we can establish a style of play and a, a, an identity, then our February can be really good. Yeah, and there's no question. A lot of players have gotten a lot of better, and you've had to do it without your top two scores. And just what, what can you share about uh, about Ali and Teresa right now and the progress as they as they get better? Right, they they've gone through all their protocols. Um, now we we will start begin to see them on the practice court. Um, possibly limited minutes on on the game court, but again, you know, it's getting them confidence in their own bodies right now, um, and then obviously getting back into the the aspect of team. So that's going to be a, 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 I would say a two week process before we hit February, where where we're going to be at full strength again. An area I think uh, the Waves can certainly win tonight is in the post. Boy, I'll tell you, Jane is playing extremely well, very powerful, very important for her to stay out of foul trouble. And, uh, you know, LMU, a team that's struggling to score, and, and I think uh, uh, Wava can have another big game tonight. Right. Yeah. Uh, well, on paper, it, it looks like a great night for us, mm -hmm. but this is the rivalry game, yeah. you know, and, and so the the energy is going to be different, the um, the focus is going to be different, but we, we've been working on our post players, uh, just continuing to build them up, that we're getting the shots we want, we're just not making them, so now their energy is a little different and, and focus, so, you know, if, if we can center around Becky and, and KK and, um, you know, Rose, I think, you know, Jane will have a big night because all the focus mm -hmm. is on the post players. Yeah. You mentioned the word, word rivalry, and you know, growing up uh, in nearby Santa Monica, I grew up with two rivalries: UCLA USC, and of course Pepperdine Loyola Marymount. Is is just? Uh, do you think this is just another game for the kids, or do they embrace this rivalry? And, and what about you? Well, I I, I have been fortunate because I've been on both ends yeah. of this rivalry. So uh, I remember when the PCH Cup was built, but we've been talking about the rivalry, yeah. and, and I think for us, it's just continuing to tell the story of the rivalry so that. Um, you know, we're at a place where, you know, our best foot is forward and this game is competitive. Great. Thanks a lot. Thank you. All right. Brian Rosario at halftime brought to you by Wolfpack Wealth Management. Second half coming up, Pepperdine and LMU on the WCC Network. I wanted to wake up to the sound of the ocean. Sun and surf. That's what we were looking for. But the moment we arrived we found so much more. We found beauty. We found adventure. We found a place we'll never, ever forget. Halftime here at Firestone Fieldhouse. Pepperdine, a monster first half. 43-23 over the rivals from Westchester, the LMU Lions, as we go to our BMW Rusnik play of the game. And Jane Waba picking up right where she left off. Waba, seven points, eight rebounds. Well, here's uh, Walls to Mbanifo. Half-court pass, that connection was made several times. Mbanifo, her first game back after missing the last several. That is our Rusnik BMW precision play of the game. Balls to Mbanifo. Step aside, waves by 20 on the WCC Network. Life is uncertain. Everyday pressures can feel overwhelming. It's okay to feel stressed, anxious, worried, or frustrated. It's normal. With CalHOPE's free and secure mental health resources, it's easy to get the help you and your loved ones need when you need it the most. Call our warm line at 833-317-4673 or live chat at calhope.org today. Visit calhope.org for mental health support or call 833-317-HOPE. That's 833-317-4673.
halftime at Firestone, 43-23 Waves. 14 of 28 shooting, 50%. Marley Walls, 15 points and four assists, four rebounds in the first half as we go to our first half highlights brought to you by the University Credit Union. Alexis Mark, Ella Mews, leading scorer with 12, already surpassing her season average of 11. Becky Obima getting involved underneath, scoring there. And the Waves, boy, did they come out firing from distance. Had five threes in the first quarter. And six by halftime, six of 14 from distance. And limiting LMU to just 27.6% from the floor. Jane Waba underneath. Waba had a nice first half again. Seven points, eight rebounds for her. And welcome back, Teresa Grayson Banifo. Banifo had a couple of nice baskets. Half court passes there from Marley Walls, just right on the money to her, as we were so accustomed to seeing before the injury. Mosa getting involved there, and we will step aside one more time. 43-23 in this PCH Cup rivalry. Waves looking great on the WCC Network. Just about ready for the second half here at Firestone Fieldhouse. So the waves up big. Marley Walls with 15, Alexis Mark with 12, the respective leading scorers, both surpassing their season average in scoring in the first half alone today. Jane Waba has brought down eight rebounds in one half of action as well and doing a nice job with their physicality again today and staying out of foul trouble. And Cassie Gordon for them, four points, couple of rebounds. LMU being held to 28% from the floor to Pepperdine's 50%. Came out running and hitting to the way. Six threes in the first half, five of them in the first quarter. LMU just two of seven from downtown. The Waves are plus 10 on the glass, 26-16. That's a big stat as well. Turn it over one more time than the Lions, seven to six. Third quarter, away we go. LMU now left to right in the second half. This is Yancey getting a start in the second half. Get it up top to Adams and throw it away. Obima with the steal and going back the other way in transition. A foul called early, 14 seconds in. It is on Oliver. Two on Oliver. And the Waves will inbound three quarters court. This is the biggest lead for Pepperdine of 20. Went on a run of 11 to nothing early in this game when they were down six to three. Up 
top, Waba. Get it to Marley Walls. Walls around the free throw line, kick out. Friend looking for a three, no, off the back of the iron. Obima had it for a moment, then had it taken away. Back the other way, Alexis Mark had a big first half, split the defense and goes to the hole. Alexis Mark's got 14, six of 10 shooting with seven rebounds. And the Waves are up 43-25. Arley Walls, crossover, running floater, it's in there. Arley Walls with 17. Back up to 20. Noel Yancey drop it off the mark. Give it to Destiny Samuel. Goes behind her, back to Yancey. Mark swing it right side, ball reversal to Aspen Adams. Looking for the interior, deflected out by a wave. Three to shoot in the corner. Adams launches and gets. Aspen Adams, her first basket in this game. Third three for LMU in eight tries. It's 45-28. 8-10, third quarter. Now that is a very unnecessary pass. You have two Lions in the vicinity. And Amosa throws it away. Wanted Obima, was not going to get her. Under eight. Next trip down to the Lions. Goes to Oliver. Oliver sitting with just two free throws in this game. Runner, wild runner over Obima. Not close. Mark has a block the contact on Jane Waba. Not necessarily in agreement is Waba. But it is a foul on her with two fouls now. And it sends Alexis Mark to the foul line where she is one for one today. Six foot junior forward out of Chatsworth. Began her collegiate career where she was part of the all freshman team at Boise State. 15 for Mark. Again, both teams are playing without their leading score. Allie Stedman for the Waves. And Ariel Johnson for LMU. Stedman averaging 15 and a half. Johnson 13 and a half, both the top their team. Not in action, 45-30 Waves. Pepperdine unsuccessful that trip. Three-pointer, Adams no good. Ball tipped out, last touch by Obima. for a moment it looked like Oliver was behind her and poked it out. Baseline right, ball will be inbounded. Aspen Adams, Elena Friend, two steps off and drop it off for Noel Yancey, goes to her left. Adams for three. No, it is short. Obima with the rebound when she brings it down, has it taken away. Look out, players get tangled up. Boy, a lot of emotion out there. Two teams that are looking for a victory from these losing streaks. It was an up and down physical first half. I think we have a technical foul at least one time. Double technical foul. Double technical. One is called on LMU number 11, Destiny Samuels. One called on Pepper Rodney number 15, Becky Obima. So it's on Destiny Samuel and Becky Obima, the technical fouls. Alternating possession, Pepperdine basketball. And Banifo in. Noel Rodriguez uh, is coming in for LMU. Rodriguez uh, only made one basket in the first half for three points. It, she is uh, an eight and a half point per game person and those uh, three pointers on the year 38%, but very quiet first half and for obvious reasons. Uh, 
Erica Hughes bringing her back in. The deeper they get into this game, they're going to be looking for the three. So alternating possession, Pepperdine basketball after the double T, 45-30. Each team now with two fouls in the third quarter. Waba, width of the court, and that is air milled over Helena Friend, but maybe bailed out, let's see. Yeah, no one can see. Sequoia Almond replacing Noel Yancey. Baseline left. Jane Waba will inbound with a 15 point lead, 6.51 to go, third quarter. And the Waves are going to have a full shot clock, or a reset of the shot clock, I should say, to the 20 seconds. Inbound up high. Meili Mosa has had a quiet game. Just has taken three shots, one for three. Here's Molly Walls, who has had a very noisy game. Walls, left side, Helena Friend with seven. Friend driving, throw it up over Rodriguez, too strong. Weak side rebound is off to Alexis Mark, who runs it up. And Banifo gets back on defense. Left corner, Aspen Adams, short. High post rebound, Oliver with the rebound, a hell ball tied up with Marley Walls. Oliver out. And Kari Clark returning for LMU. Clark missed all three of her shots in the first half. Underneath the basket. Inbound, Adams for three, off the front of the rim. Offensive rebound, reverse layup, no good. Waba brings it in. Nine rebounds for Jane Waba. Living her three points and a board away from a double-double. A foul with Walls going to the middle of the lane. And that'll be two on Alden and four on LMU. So with 6.08 left, the Lions are out of fouls. Let's see how quickly they can get a fifth. This is where you gotta be super aggressive if you're Pepperdine. Get that fifth foul on him. Get to the free throw line as much as possible and preserve the lead, 45 to 30. And Banifo left side. Walls goes to her right, defended by Adams. Walls, a 360. Walls, fancy feet, throw it up, and it rattles in there. Marley Walls, 19 points. Six for six from the floor, including all three of her threes. Walls also with four assists and four rebounds at her first look of this rivalry. Three-pointer short by Rodriguez, rebound Obima. Two teams will meet in Westchester on February 18th. Rays won both regular season meetings last year. Three-pointer, Waba, no good. Long rebound out to Mbanifo. Get it back to Waba, driving down the middle. Get it up, no good, over Clark. Clark comes down with the rebound. By the way, Alexis Mark now has got a double-double for LMU, 16 and 10. Averages 11 and 6 on the year. Mark, whistle, traveled. Yeah, the first thing she's done wrong all day. 4.59 to go in the third quarter. Way still a big 47 30 on the WCC network.
Pepperdine up big in the third quarter with 4.59 to go, up 17. Let's go to our upcoming games brought to you by Resnick BMW. Next Thursday, the 26th, the Waves are in Portland, a 6 o'clock tip-off. And then a week from today, at Gonzaga, an undefeated team in the conference at 2 o'clock back here on Thursday, February 2nd against St. Mary's for a 6 o'clock tip. And then two weeks from today, Pacific in town for a 1 o'clock start. All those games begin the second round of the conference schedule. Lots and lots of basketball still to be played with the whole second round left and, of course, the conference tournament. A lot of time left, and the Waves are off to a great start to close off the first half of the schedule here today. Up 17 in the third. Becky Obima, lob a corner to Becky, uh, or to uh, Jane Wab, I should say. Back to Becky Obima. Walk with it, I think, yeah. And the Waves turn it over for the 10th time. LMU has misfired on their last five shots. They get it back. Set up the zone. Here's Cassie Gordon back in, and that's deflected off Waba, but Amosa right there to take it away, and Marley Walls back at the point. Out on the right wing to Helena Friend, kick it back out to Walls. Amosa sets a pick, Walls goes to her left. No reason to rush anything with this kind of a lead. Four minutes to go in the third. Eight to shoot, whistle. And that should put the Lions over the limit. That's on Gordon. So the Waves are shooting free throws the rest of the third quarter. And it'll be Jane Lava here for two. Seven points, nine rebounds for Waba with a steal, two assists. This could very well be a double-double day for Waba. That one, not much you could do about. Get everything right, just didn't fall through, in and out. Second one is good, Waves are 10 of 16 at the line, 48 to 30. Biggest lead was 20 a couple of times, including the halftime score of 43-23. There's a three-point try, too strong, missed by Almond, and Ellen, or excuse me, Pepperdine comes up with it. Walls up ahead, Jane Waba on the left angle, Obima posting up instead, center it to Amosa. Obima underneath, yeah. off the window. Becky Obima puts the Waves back up to 20, 50-30. Each team with seven points in the quarter, 3.24 to go. LMU still way under its pace. Uh, their season average, 57 a game. Sitting at 30 with about three minutes to go in the third. Corner three, that is in there for Cassie Gordon. She's got seven, her first three. LMU four of 14 from distance. Waba front court. Walls has three threes in this game. She has not missed a shot today. Waba thought about the three with seven. Waba baseline. Now with four, friend to Walls. Walls driving with two, tripped up with one on the shot clock. Tripped up by Almond and to the free throw line goes Marley Walls. Three of one field, KK Brody on. And Waba and Obima out. Destiny Samuel along with Oliver back on. Rodriguez out for the Lions with uh, Kari Clark. Free throw is good. Twenty-four Marley Walls. Twenty-one for Marley Walls. Six of seven at the line. And the Waves are up fifty-two to thirty-three. 
Cassie Gordon on the left wing, gets to the baseline, lays it up and in over a couple of big bodies down there. Brody and Brumfield, 52-35. Balls in the front court. Balls having a huge game, 360 in the key. Get it to Helena Friend underneath, off the glass, no. Balls loose on the floor. And keep it there. That will be a lion foul with 159 to go. Take another look. They got from behind the uh, friend, they got Yancey on the foul. That's her third. She'll sit. Rodriguez back on. And Helena Friend sitting with five points and two rebounds. Two of four at the line. Make it three of five. Well, Molly Walls, you're wondering about her career game officially. That was the one in which the Waves got the first conference victory of the season up at Santa Clara, had 26 in that one. She's sitting with 21 right now. Friend splits the two, 53 to 35. No shot. Alexis Mark is fouled on the way. That's the Waves third. Gordon will inbound. Goes to the corner to Mark, up high to Rodriguez. Oliver, about 16 feet from the hoop, get it to Mark on a curl pattern, whistle, it's a blocking foul. And Banifo, I would think, yeah. Teresa Grace and Banifo in her first game back, that's her first foul. Banifo today, four points, two offensive rebounds. Getting some nice playing time after missing a handful of games. Still no Allie Stedman today in street clothes. But we are hopeful that she might be a game or two away. Could make uh, an appearance in the road trip next weekend up to the Northwest. Gonzaga and Portland. Possibly. Mark, free throw, no good. Alexis Mark is a 78% foul shooter. She splits the two. Having a big day for LMU, 17 points and 10 rebounds. 53, 36, 140 to go in the third. Where are you throwing the ball? Underneath throwing basket, that's very dangerous. And now the Waves have to hustle up and clear the 10 second timeline, made it by a second. Marley Walls in the front court. Still a big 17 point lead. Waves have only lost three points off their halftime lead, but not the greatest of quarters. Unlike the first two, Walls defending there, more frustrations all over the court. Now we saw a little bit of this, not to that extent, but kind of like a precursor with uh, Obima getting tangled up earlier on the baseline. Frustration there for Marley Walls, and then she is pushed down by Mark, who retaliates. And we'll have a series of technical fouls yet again. The monitor will be in play here, maybe. They can go look at see what, what transpired if they want to. Referee timeout. You know all about this rivalry. It's been a wonderful rivalry over the years in all of the sports. You know, you can make the argument that this game had a little bit something extra maybe to it. You know, these, these two teams have not had the results they've wanted to on the conference schedule, sitting at the bottom of the conference, making it so important to get a W. 
see the crew taking a look. Next broadcast brought to you by Pernia Law. That's uh, Thursday, January 26th. Next team, I should say, will be uh, up at the uh, Child Center, Pepperdine and Portland. Waves also will be in Spokane. Take on Gonzaga. Yeah, so just a lot of emotion, and really we saw that right away. It was an up and down basketball game, very physical game. I thought it was very important to try to win this game on the interior for Pepperdine, who I thought had a big advantage there with Waba and Obima and Amosa. And Obima got tangled up with one of the LNU players, got, got teed up with one of the Lions earlier, and then this happened. Take a look at some highlights. Marley Walls has had just a huge game. 21 points, six of six. He made all of her shots, including all three of her threes. Waves have been in control of this game on the scoreboard ever since trailing six to three. Went on that 11 nothing run have not been caught since. There's Marley again on the running floater. And again, really does that well. And the one thing in this game, she has managed to finish those shots. That's been one struggle area for her where she's had nice footwork and she's done everything right, just a little bit too rushy and hasn't been able to finish at times. But today she certainly has the transfer from Bucknell. Brad student now. Well, they're still talking about it. And to be honest, if you want to get it right, it should not be taking this long. You get a couple of things, just a pushing and shoving type of thing. Obviously, you want to tee up whoever shoved the walls of the floor. I believe that was Mark. And then Marley had the had the first piece of contact and the retaliation came in. So there's that. And then somebody comes in here and that's Mark who just does that. So it should be a double technical again, I would think. I'm not so sure why the Nobody came off, well, there's Aspen Adams who came off the bench briefly. Not supposed to do that, but uh, I don't think that anything would warrant a T there. Tamara McDonald saying, get back to the bench. McDonald, of course, the WCC Player of the Year while wearing a Pepperdine uniform two decades ago. Fifty-three thirty-six waves, one fifteen to go in the third quarter as the referee crew continues to talk. Now they're gonna, as expected, talk to the head coaches, Brian Rosario for Pepperdine and Erica Hughes for LMU. Okay. getting an explanation here from the crew. There will be a common foul, which started the whole ordeal around that left wing. There will be free throws taken for that. And then you'll have the technical fouls. I, I think I heard that correctly, I think Alexis Mark has been thrown out. Yeah, 
Yeah, Alexis Bark is done for the day. That's too bad. She had a remarkable basketball game, 17 and 10. But you absolutely cannot do what she did. We have a personal foul on element number two, Cassidy Gordon. So there's the personal foul on Gordon. So free throws coming up for that. Marley Wall's got the unsportsmanlike. And Alexis Mark has been ejected. All right, so just what we thought. Mark is gone. Common foul, Marley Walls will shoot two free throws here. And then Marley Walls also picked up the T. For the initial foul on number two, Cassie Gordon, Marley Walls will shoot two free throws. So this is the uh, the two shot foul for Marley Walls. Walls with 21, six of six from the floor, six of seven at the line. And there's her 22nd point. Well, it did take a little longer than you would have liked. However, However, an excellent job by the crew sorting it out, getting it right, looking at everything that had to be looked at. Look at the clock, make sure you got the common foul right. And they got everything right, 55-36. All right, so LMU, they ended up calling it, LMU will get it full court. They called an intentional is what they did. It wasn't a technical on the on Walls, they call an intentional foul on Walls. That gives LMU the ball full court. And the technical on that retaliation and Alexis Mark gets disqualified. So 55-36 at 1.07 to go here in the third quarter. Cassie Gordon will inbound. Aspen Adams, defended by Drea Brunfield. Drop it off, right elbow area to Oliver. Driving to her left, runner too strong. Missed by Gordon, it lands right in the hands of Marley Walls. Lee's still up big, 19, have only lost one point off their halftime lead. Grayson Banifo go to the corner, wild up for three, that is short. And over the back, no call there, it lands in the hands of Adams. Group, this crew is going to have to be very much uh, keep things under control in this last fourth quarter coming up. Runner, no good, Rodriguez. And again, these two teams will meet in Westchester down the road a few weeks. So there's that. 18 seconds to go with the shot clock off, 55 36. Baseline and Banapo. Throws it up and in. Teresa Grayson Banifo and her return back to the lineup has six. As the third quarter comes to an end, a three-pointer missed. And the Waves actually gain a point from their halftime lead. Win that quarter 14-13 and go into the fourth with a 57-36 lead over LMU on the WCC Network.
That'll go to the fourth quarter. Very emotional ball game today. A series of technical fouls. Both teams in need of a win. Pepperdine obviously the upper leg here, up by 21 going into the fourth quarter, 57-36. Take a look at the Helena Friend family right there. Sister Hannah is here, a great player here, just for a year though recently. Came in as a grad student. Helena playing very well of late herself. Brody turns, has it blocked away by Oliver. And the Lions into the front court. Raves with this big lead and shooting 46% in the game to LMU's 28.6%. Marley Walls a 23, three off her career high, no shot. And Alexis Mark has been ejected from this basketball game for her retaliation there. Technical foul. She got late in the third quarter. Had a double-double and she was thrown out 17 and 10. Both teams without their leading score on the season in this game. Marley Walls right side, Brunfield looking for her second triple. In and out, stays out, and Banifo had it, lost it. Aspen Adams takes it back. Jane Waba will get a reach-in foul. Fourth foul already now on uh, Waba with eight points, nine rebounds. Like she's going to stay in the game. Lays with this 21 point lead. So, in that case, you don't necessarily mind it. With uh, Waba's four. Almost at her season average and scoring. Crossover, Gordon. Brody with the steal. Marley Walls back at the point. And Banifo. And a little bit too quick there. Gordon takes it away and going back the other way. A foul on Bru and, uh, Drea Brunfield. First on Brunfield, two on the way as they 47 to go. May Lee and Mosa back on, as is Helena Friend. And Becky Obima joining Drea Brunfield and Marley Walls. Aspen Adams at the point now for LMU. Samuel, Gordon, Rodriguez, and Clark. The other four for LMU. Underneath layup is missed by the Lions. And will go Pepperdine's way. That easy underneath shot missed by Samuel, who is without a basket today. Got to watch out for this fourth quarter. Got to watch out for number one at all times. I would think they're going to try to look for her. 38% on the year from distance. Has had a very quiet day. Had that early three, and that's been it. Obima on the knee. 59-36. Obima with eight. Aspen Adams. Not much time to be so casual, and I wouldn't think if you're LNU. Gordon. Gordon pull up. Free throw line extended. She hits that. Now they're going to do a lot of uh, pressure, I would think, LNU, and try to raise havoc defensively. Get some quick steals. Friend to Walls. Goes to her right. Walls through the lane. Looking for Obima, easily stolen by Clary Clark. Back the other way, Rodriguez. Crossover, Rodriguez knocks down Walls and a, let's see, offensive offense. Foul. Called an offensive foul on Rodriguez. Let's take another look. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. I'll say nothing. 59-38. Walls, baseline, Obima. That'll be an offensive foul on Obima. 
Take a look at this one. Yep, definitely an elbow there, left elbow. And Obima now with the, uh, two. Two fouls, including a technical today for Becky Obima. Up top, pull up, Gordon, 15 feet, it's good. Still got 6.55 in this game. Omosa, still a big lead of 19. All deflected out. You gotta watch for your passing the ball. That's what you, the only thing you gotta do here in the final 6.51 is take care of the ball. Use clock and just, you gotta watch where you're throwing it. Because that can clearly result in quick baskets going the other way. Obima, friend. Left angle, pull up, too long, in the hands of Adams, the outlet ahead, it goes to Rodriguez. Rodriguez underneath, if that's a better pass, it's an easy layup, three point shot, got it. That's Cassie Gordon having a double digit day, she's got 16, and Ryan Rosario needs to get things organized again, 59 to 43. Pepperdine on top of 6.29 to go. The Waves called the timeout. The question is, yeah, results in a full, so we'll step aside. Waves still up 16 on the WCC Network. Take a look at uh, Marley Walls here. Teresa Grayson Banifo making her debut back. Marley Walls has had 23 points, I'm not sure six which rebounds, and six assists. Been a fantastic day. All with a block shot. LNU's got the last seven points in this one. After the Waves had their biggest lead of 23, it's now a 16-point game and a lot of time left. 6.29. You better believe that the Lions are coming with everything they've got here in the backcourt on probably just about every trip on defense. They'll probably be launching them as they just did. LMU now 5 for 16 from distance. Waves do not have a three in the second half. Ball knocked away by Gordon. It'll stay with the Waves. Jane Waba coming back in. Jane Waba Brunfield out. Waba with a full shot clock, dangerous pass. Last touch, Rodriguez yeah, stepping in front of Friend. It'll stay with the Waves, and the Waves having a huge problem here, just getting the ball in, much less uh, having to deal with his press. Inbound to Friend. Well done there, she turned herself loose and cleared the timeline. Walls. Using the clock, good idea, settle things down. You still got a 16 point lead, approaching the six minute mark. Marley Walls with eight. Walls crossover, Walls in the key, turn, throw it up over two Lions, in and out, no, Abima with the rebound. Pull it back out, you got 20 again to use. Walls fumbled away, Wabu will pick it up, trapped on that far side and stolen. Aspen Adams diving, she loses handle, picked up by Waba up ahead, Walls. Drop it off, friend of the hole, lady. 61-43. Friend's got eight. Coming off her career high of 12. 
Rodriguez, left side to Gordon. That was, I would say, a much needed basket for the Waves. Ball hits the side of the backboard, missed badly by Gordon. I don't know if Obina got a piece of that. Left side, Fred for three. No, straight but short. Ball goes on the end line, last touch LMU. And we go back to Pepperdine. A couple of subs for the Lions. Back on Destiny Samuel and Sequoia Owen. Also back on for LMU, Noel Yancey. Waba will inbound. Still got an 18 point lead. Only lost two points from that 20 point halftime lead. Marley Walls underneath. Fumbled away by Obina, picks it up though. Friend baseline shot, no good. Taken away by Samuel. LMU looking to push it the rest of the game. Rodriguez spots up for three. No, way off. Whistle, keep it there. Harley Walls picks up the foul. Four on Walls now. And the waves are over the limit. Final 4.45. Samuel will go to the line. Friend will sit. Front field back on. And Samuel is short on her foul shot. Second foul shot, two big misses for Destiny Samuel. Marley Walls in the front court. Still got this comfortable 18 point lead with four and a half to go. Marley Walls burning some clock. Camosa swing it left. Waba for three. No long, strong side rebound. Keep it there for the Waves. Now on LMU. That's on Oliver. Three on Oliver, three on the Lions. KK Brody back on, Obima will sit. Waba, inbound to Treya Brunfield. Brunfield's having, I think, one of her better games. Had a couple of shots, one of which was a three. And an offensive foul there. Oh boy, that's on Walls. That's it. That, a foul away from the ball. Something happened underneath. Maybe we could take another look. That is a, a bummer of a foul on Pep here. They do have the 18 point lead, 4.13 to go. I'll have to finish it out without their star point guard who has had a 23 point day with seven assists and six rebounds. Offensive foul, Marley Walls away from the basketball has fouled out. LMU call a 30 second timeout. Well, while we're in this timeout, let's go to our Ticket Smarter Smart Play of the game. It is gonna be involving Marley Walls. And in the first quarter, this is one of three threes that she hit. This one was an and one, a four point play. Marley Walls hit three threes all in the first quarter. Had a huge game. First taste of this rivalry. The Waves will have to play the final 4-13 without her, but that's the bad news. The good news is you got an 18 point lead that you should be able to hang on to here with four and change left. So on the floor, Waba, Runfield, Amosa, Brody, and Obima. That means I'm giving the ball to Jane Waba to act here as the point guard. 
Right side, kick out, three point shot, no good, missed by Rodriguez, who will try again. In and out there, ball tip. Rodriguez cannot buy one seemingly. Rodriguez today is one for 10 from the floor. The only one she hit was her first shot. Oliver not on the same page that time with Gordon. And looking to just hand it off her and ends up throwing it away. Waves will get it back. Teresa Grace and Banafo back on. Both teams in a scoring drought. LMU 254, Waves 205. Waves, though, don't necessarily mind that. With his 18-point lead, 324 to go. Burn some clock here. This is who you want to have handling the ball. Jane Waba driving, kick out baseline, and Banafo leaning in and good on the floater. Teresa Grace and Banafo's got eight. And her return back to the lineup, five under her season average, but you'll take what Mbanifo gave you today, no question, 63-43. Each team with 20 points in the second half, 2.55 to go in the game. Brody playing defense, corralled there by Clark, throws it into the hands of Amosa. LMU turns it over, that for the 15th time. One less than the Waves today. Burden another 20 here. Mosa jumping into a Banafo, looking for Brody baseline, kick out Brunfield with 10. Really burning the clock, which is what the Waves want. Long two, and Banafo's got it. Double digits. And Banafo with 10. She's five for six from the floor. 2.18 to go, and this ball game is going to Pepperdine. Timeout. 30-second timeout, we'll leave it here. This one called by LNU. The Wolves are going to snap a seven-game losing streak to close out the first half of the conference schedule. We'll go to two and seven as the Lions will, and Pacific, if they were to lose tonight, you'd have a three-way tie at the bottom. There's the next wave game to start the second half. Thursday night, six o'clock tip-off. That is a very tall order for the Waves, taking on the Portland Pilots in Portland, a team that is 13 and six and seven and one in the conference. Where is Portland today? They are at Pacific, so if the Pilots win that game, they'll be one back in second place, and the Waves, Lions, and Tigers will all be tied at two and seven. That's if Portland takes care of business in Stockton. 2.12 to go. Allman goes to her left, out to Rodriguez. Got Rodriguez on a very much off day. Under two minutes. Allman driving. Allman, runner short. Brody comes up with it. And Jane Waba as we Expected at the point now with Marley Walls having fouled out. And Banifo, whistle, offense. Two on and Banifo, no harm there. 137 to go. Got a 22 point lead. Rodriguez, Gordon, Gordon's had a 16 point game, make it 18 on eight of 15 shooting. So she is now LMU's leading score today with Alexis Mark having been ejected from the game with 17 and 10. 110 to go, Mosa driving, a whistle on her way. Haley Hoff will be in. Rodriguez will pick up her third. Certainly a game to forget for Nicole. One for 11 from the floor. That's 
someone who averages eight and a half a game and has made 33 threes on the year. And Banifo scores. He's got 12, six of seven for Teresa Grace and Banifo with two offensive rebounds. Lions call a timeout at 67-45, 57.8. Team that's been struggling as it is, scoring at 57 a game. They're sitting with 45 right now with under a minute to go. Waves slightly over their season average of 64 and a half a game. Indoor track and field team here at Pepperdine. Season opening weekend for them in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Told you men's volleyball in Austin, Texas this weekend. Tonight they play Lewis. And there is the score with 57.8 to go, 67.45. Back of a way for the Waves to close out the first half. Get a win, snap a seven game slide and do it against your rivals. See if this can carry into the second half of the schedule. The Waves will waste no time jumping into it. A trip to Gonzaga and Portland. And then we'll next talk to you on February 2nd, a six o'clock game here against St. Mary's. All right, here we go, under a minute. Rosemary Otomumi on the court, as is Haley Hoff. Aspen Adams with the ball, Hoff defending up high. Three-pointer Rodriguez, that's no good. She is one of 12 shooting today. Otomumi pulls down the rebound. Very unnecessary foul in the backcourt with only 36 seconds to go in a 22-point ball game. Gordon's third. Both teams over the limits, so the Waves will take free throws. Waves are 15 of 22 today at the line, 68%. Just slightly under their season average of 70%. Odabumi will take the two free throws here, five of eight on the season. The 8.45. Free throw here would mean the largest lead of the game for Pepperdine. This tie is the largest lead. That one is no good. Oh, uh, Jane Waba could not come down with it. Rodriguez will, or Gordon will, excuse me, into the front court. Aspen Adams goes behind her. 23 seconds to go, about a five second difference. Game clock, shot clock, off defending. Adams, swing it left side. That's Rodriguez for three, and that's good. Just their second basket today in 13 tries. Gonna be way too little, way too late. Waba push it into the front court for KK Brody. Smart, don't have to do anything more. Final score will be 68-48. That was the halftime advantage. Each team scoring 25 points in the second half. And the Waves get a 20-point victory over LMU. will step aside. Waves snap a seven-game losing streak on the WCC Network.
Seven game losing streak is over. The Waves get a big win, 68-48 over LMU. The Waves are seven and 12, two and seven in the conference going to the second round of the schedule. LMU falls to five and 15. They lose their fourth in a row and go to two and seven as well in the conference. Take a look at some highlights. A lot of people had nice games today, obviously led by Marley Walls, 23 points before she fouled out was six of seven for the floor, made all three of her threes in the first quarter. Alexis Mark, before she was ejected, had a double-double for LMU, 17 points and 10 rebounds. Cassie Gordon was their team high score, 18 points, eight of 15 shooting. Teresa Grayson Banifo, one of the highlights today, back in the lineup, was in double figures on the game. Just under her season average, but what a game she had in her return after missing last handful of games and the waves good feed again there from Marley Walls but the finish did a fine job finishing everything today the waves got out to a big lead with an 11-0 run in the first quarter got out to a lead of 20 at half and one by 20 and now the waves hit the road next week at Gonzaga and Portland we'll talk to you on February 2nd at St. Mary's game on entertainment thank you very much once again I'm Darren Preston wishing everybody a great next couple of weeks. Waves are on the road next week. There's your final score. Pepperdine 68, LMU 48. This has been Pepperdine Basketball. Waves win the first installment of the PCH Cup on the WCC Network.